Biscotti! We're talking about cookies. This is an Italian cookie. What makes it different? Well, we'd bake it twice. We first we make a big log out of the cookie dough. And then when it's baked, we slice it up and then we bake it again. So it's a dry, crisp cookie with nuts, really nice taste. We're gonna put some grated orange rind in our wet ingredients here. I've got beaten eggs, I've got a little bit of melted butter. Some recipes use melted butter and some don't. I like the ones with a bit of butter in it because it makes it a little more tender. And the grated orange rind will really give it a nice taste. That should be great. So we have here all-purpose flour, sugar, a baking powder, a little bit of salt. Just like when we're making pasta. You guys remember how we make pasta? Make a little well in the middle. We'll put our beaten eggs and our butter. Oh yeah, I also put some uh, some extract. I put some almond extract and I put some vanilla extract and some orange extract because I like those kind of things. Here's what we do. Just like we're making the pasta. Stir that well in the middle there. Slowly incorporate the dry ingredients to that egg mixture and it'll gradually come together to make our cookie dough. At some point here we've also got some almonds and we're going to add those in right now. And get this dough together. If we need to add a little bit more flour we will, but I don't think we will. So it should be a little bit sticky, but it's gonna hold together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, make a couple of nice little logs out of it. Or maybe we'll just do one log. One log should be good. So, get all of that in here. Maybe a wee bit of flour, just so we can work with it. So you see the kind of log, oh, I'm just gonna get this off my fingers. My hands are perfectly clean, so we're gonna use this. So. So we want kind of a somewhat flat shape. If you see any cracks in the dough, make sure you make sure that those aren't going to come apart either, okay? Or else our cookies aren't going to look that nice. So we want to we want a shape like this, kind of like an oval. Just like that. It's going to spread out a little bit. It'll sink. But it'll give it a shape that we want for this type of thing. Grab our prepared sheet pan with Parchment, a bench scraper is always a useful tool. So, one little final shape like this, and we're ready to go in the oven. Let's say about 30 minutes. See you then.